Hello everyone, welcome back to Slug Lady Plays and welcome back to Blackwell Epiphany. We're finally we're finally getting closer and closer to the end and we are we finally got a few clues for this mystery. Like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, sorry. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Alright, so yet uh so peter we know about the gym so we're going to go there uh heather and jeffrey actually all three of them and Ben benjiro whoever the heck that is uh i'm actually gonna pop in with Corey and see if we can get some info about the others so there's the gym, but first, Cory. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? I'm trying to find someone named Benjiro. He ran some kind of self-help circle called the Grace Group. Hmm, let's see. No, nothing on file, hmm. sorry. Do you have a record of a Jeffrey Detta? He was killed in a hit and run. Let's see. Yep, hit and run, like you said. Technically, the case is open, but nobody has any hopes that it will be solved. Wait, so we don't actually know who... who hit him with a car? Okay. Can you tell me anything about the death of a Mr. Peter Fielding? Okay, let's see. Yep, here he is. Peter Fielding, age 54, owned a fitness center in Murray Hill called Fields Gym. He fell off a ladder while fixing a light bulb in the locker room, hit his head on the bench, and oh. bled to death. Nobody found him for several hours. An ambulance was called and pronounced him dead at the scene. Nothing more than that? That's pretty open and shut. Accidental death. Okay. But that thing about Jeffrey Dutta, okay, I am not kidding, guys. I do not remember that part. So we, so the case is still open because we still do not know who hit him with a car. That actually kind of creeps me out a bit. Do you have any record of a Heather Goffstein? Let me check. Nope, nothing on Heather Goffstein, sorry. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Uh, so... Uh, we're gonna head to the gym. Why am I on my phone? No. Heading to gym. Fields, gym, 24-hour, weight, cardio, aerobics. Looks nice and warm in there. Of course, so would an ice factory right now. Looks nice and warm. It says members only. Great. Time to play in the snow. So, while I'm doing this, um, so during uh, moments in the game where we come across like, big important clues and stuff, we're gonna... You really gotta do that? You don't do enough walking normally? You're just jealous I can do this and you can't. Sure, jealous of your wet and cold feet, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> um, so, every time we gather, like, a big piece of evidence, we are gonna be heading back to Michael, because we'll get inter we'll get backstory and interesting dialogue and all that, kind of like in the first game. When every we every time we hit a clue, we could ask Joey about Lauren or Patricia. It's a key card reader. Looks like it unlocks the door, which we don't have. It seems to open with a yeah. key card. Got a sec? You rang. I can't remember the last time I went to a gym. Thinking of joining? With all the walking I do every day, I don't think I need to. You'd be surprised. I do a lot of walking, and yet my the weakest part of my body is my ankles. 
I don't even know how that works. I can't remember. Think it was all. Whoever Heather was, Michael seems pretty sure that she was, well, taken, like Leah and George. God, I hope not. I'm not sure how many more of these ripped up spooks I can take. This Peter, a lead worth pursuing? Let your feet do the walking, Red. Mm -hmm. Whoever Jeffrey Dutta was, it's probably too late to save him. Can't worry about that now. Let's just put a stop to this before it happens to anybody else. This Benjiro person. If he ran the Grace Group meetings, we have to find him. One step at a time, sweetheart. We'll get to him. And when we do, give him a punch in the face for me. Haha, <laughs> nice. Alright, switching over. In my day, gyms were for sweaty weightlifter guys. These days, it's all toothpicks. <laughs> in my day, it says members only. Hey, get over here. What is it, Joey? You wanna get a few rounds in while we're here? I'm not exactly dressed for the gym, Joey. Excuses, excuses. You wanna... I'm not... Ex Don't know who this Heather lady is, but Michael's convinced she's a lost cause. She could be, but he didn't actually see it happen. She might be alright. This Peter guy. I guess any lead is a good one. Jeffrey Dutta. That's three spooks destroyed that we know of anyway. We need to put a stop to this before it becomes four. The Deacon, Gavin, Charlie Meltzer, and now Ben Giro. It always comes down to one guy, doesn't it? Let's find him so we can give him a piece of our mind. Heck yeah. All right. You're going in, Joey. All Rosa waits out there in the cold. Celebrity endorsement. Looks like some kind of headshot photo. Probably someone famous who uses the gym. Let's see here. Oh ho ho ho! Tanya Corsi. Hey, wait a second. Is that? Yeah, that's the spook from George's roof. So this is the other cool thing about these two. About these two missions, or three missions rather. Or four? I can't remember. Anyway, all these missions now in this part of the game, it's not like Blackwell and Bound. You find out clues by working on the... You find out clues about other missions while you're working on a case. And it's awesome! A calendar with a marker pen attached. It's a number on the calendar. I can't do anything with it. It's a n Talk about it. Nope, still a ghost. Okay. Looks like that picture frame fell off the wall. I can't touch the okay, thing. Okay, so we're gonna need Rosa to be able to come in here at some point and pick that up. Run, run, run like a hamster on a wheel. <laughs> TV showing some energetic broad and yoga pants. Men's. Ladies. Probably nobody in there with my luck. Let's just uh take a take a little peek. Hey, anyone in here? Anyone? Please. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's go into the men's room. Nobody here. Hey, does it look right? Seriously, does it look right? Does what look right? The light bulb. I could swear it was blinking. It looks fine to me. Huh. I gotta do everything myself around here. Oh boy. Looks to be in his 50s? It's hard to say. He's got the hair of an older man, but the body that most guys in their 20s huh. would envy. He obviously worked out religiously for all the good it did him. Hey, friend, can we talk for a second? Are you sure there's nothing wrong with that light? <laughs> I'm no expert, but it looks fine to me. A little <sighs> Well, what can I do for you? Hey, is your name Peter Fielding by any chance? That's, That's me. me. Why? <laughs> no reason. You own this joint, right? Yes, I do. 
My dad built it. You could say it's a family business. Been running it around 20 years? Seems like yesterday. Is that Dave Gilbert? I have a feeling that might be Dave Gilbert. I could be wrong. We'll find out in the credits, whatever. So what's the story with the lights? I don't know. It's driving me crazy. There's something wrong with them. I can tell. Well, like I said, they look totally fine to me. I'll just have to keep checking. Oh, he did kind of die trying to change a light bulb. Nice place you got here. Thanks. You looking to join? Ah, no. I really don't think exercise is going to do me much good. It's amazing how many people think that. You're young. Your metabolism is still going strong. But time catches up with you before you know it. You're preaching to the choir, Peter. But I'm still not interested. Well, we're here if you need us. How old is Joey? I mean, before he got killed. So, how are you feeling? Fine, why? You don't feel strange at all? What do you mean? Well, just hypothetically speaking, you don't feel like you're gonna explode? <laughs> what, like indigestion? <laughs> Not quite. I am on a strict diet of wheatgrass shakes oh. and fiber. Indigestion is the last thing I have to worry about. Okay, I'm a health nut and still, you. So, you run this place with your old man, huh? Sort of. He built it when he left the army. I took over long ago. So, you run this- Okay, sort. so that's there, so that's important. Ever hear of the Grace Group? I understand you went to a few meetings. You know about mm -hmm. that? Sure. Wow. Well, yeah. I went to some meetings. It was all I needed. Why's that? Well, I wasn't the most focused of people back then. It's a long story, but in the end, I went to work with my dad running this place. It's been my life ever since. You ever go to the Carth House? Dumpy place in Chelsea. No, sorry. I haven't been to the village in years. Hey, I think I met a friend of yours, Father Michael Cooper. Michael? Now there's a name I haven't heard in a while. How is he? He's seen better days. I'm sorry to hear that. He'll pull through. He always has. I hear Tanya Corsi went to this gym. She's been coming here for years. That body you see on TV? I take full credit for that. <laughs> well, we all gotta be proud of something. <laughs> Do you know anything about Benjiro? Ran the Grace Group meetings. Sure. Well? Mm -hmm. Um, funny. I can't think of anything to say, exactly. It's been 20 years. Sure, people forget things. That's it, exactly. I just didn't think it would happen to me so soon. Oh, boy. Did you know Jeffrey Dutta? You know Jeff, too. Not really, I just heard of him. Good guy. To care of my neighbor's dog when she was on vacation. Oh, uh, why is it that the guy who loves dogs is was like the first one to get exploded? Ah, that's that is very upsetting to me. So tell me about yourself, Peter. I'm the guy who's gonna kick your butt into shape. Ah, well, we'll <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Heather Goffstein? You know Heather too. <laughs> Who don't you know? Eh, well, I'm a people person. Wow, Heather. Haven't heard that name in a long time. Well, I'll see you around. You got it. I'll be here. I just gotta see what's wrong with this damn light. Hmm. Hey, Peter? Hey, man. What can I do for you? Hmm. Well, I'll s You got it. Looks to- He obviously worked out- Uh... Can't actually look at the light, so... Oh, that's right! No barriers. I like that. She's sweating so much, she didn't even notice. She probably liked it. <laughs> Way out to the street. 
Well, we know who we have a clue for another ghost. So I found Peter. Peter? Peter Fielding? Yeah, he's safe and sound. Spiritually speaking, anyway. Huh. Michael was sure that Peter's ghost was taken. Just between you and me, Michael doesn't look to be sure about very much. Okay, I guess the only thing we can really do now is, well, besides go see Tanya, is to see Peter. I mean- So, have you heard of this Tanya Corsi person? Tanya Corsi? Was she in the gym? No, it's the name of our roof spook. Is she famous or something? You could say that. She has a TV show. I think you mean she had a TV show. Let's get going. Uh, what I meant to see it say was go see Michael, not go see Peter. Uh, I guess that's a clue to go here first. I don't know why we're still allowed to go to the, uh, to the lobby. Hello, Tanya. Hi there. Hello again, mister. What brings you by? You're Tanya Corsi, aren't you? Ah, <sighs> I knew you'd get it. That's me, Tanya Corsi, host of the Good Morning Show on Channel 11. Now all the mystery is gone. Are you sure you don't know anything about this note? No, I don't know anything about any note. Please stop. No. Are you sure? Please. Do you know anything about a self-help organization called the Grace Group? Grace Group? No, I haven't. Sorry. You ever go to the Karth house? Sorry. Do you know a Michael Cooper? I don't. Sorry. So, Tanya, tell me about yourself. <laughs> You want to get to know the real Tanya Corsi. The Tanya that you don't read about in the tabloids and magazines? If you let me. I barely know you, Mr. Malone. Although if you swing by more often, you might learn a thing or two. Does the name Benjiro ring any bells? Benjiro? Is that Japanese? I believe so. Sorry, I don't know anyone named Benjiro. Do you know a guy named Jeffrey Dutta? Hmm. Sorry, I don't. So, I heard you go to Peter Fielding's gym. I do. Or rather, I did. After what happened to him, I just couldn't... You mean his... Death? Yes. So senseless. Do you know a Heather Goffstein? No. No, I don't. Sorry. Come on. That note on the floor, it has oh, yeah, Heather that's written right. on it. So, like I told you, it has no meaning to me. I don't know any Heather. Are you sure? Well, Tanya, I have to get going, but I'll see you around. Ta. Hey. <laughs> I totally forgot about that note. I really did. <laughs> Uh... Channel 11? Okay... Uh... Tanya... Corsi? Did I spell that right? Tanya was the host of The Good Morning Show. I remember hearing that they got a new host, but I didn't know this was the Ooh. reason. Channel 11. I think their head office is in Penn Plaza. Can't hurt to ask around. Okay. City Post obituary. It is with tremendous sadness that we announce that the passing of Tanya Corsi after the tragic accident. Most of us only knew of her as a charming and bubbly host of the Channel 11 Good Morning Show. But those who worked closely with her knew that she was a razor sharp in intellect with uh, who paid her dues and became one of the best loved media personalities in the world. She will be deeply missed. Alright, so we have that, but I want to go tell Michael that one of his friends You return with news, I hope. Oh, heck yeah. We found one of the Grace Group spooks, Peter Fielding. I see. 
Is he still intact? Yeah, he tried to get me to join a gym. I thought as much. You thought so? What do you mean? You know as well as I do. A spirit cannot be moved from this world until it is spiritually ready. It would appear that is also the case here. But what about George and Leah? From my understanding, they were aware of their death when they were taken. Yeah, they were. Then there is your answer. They were spiritually ready to leave this world. And so were vulnerable. Ooh. This... Fielding, was it? He is a lucky soul indeed. Until he is made aware, he cannot be taken. Not by you, or by anyone else. So wait, this is our fault? Whatever do you mean? Leah, George. Just by trying to save them, we destroyed them. I suppose. Yes, it could be seen that way. But please, do not blame yourself. How could you have known? Ignorance doesn't change anything. Listen to me. Whatever or whoever is taking these souls, they were marked long before they died. All we can do now is move forward and save who we can. So what? We just leave the spook to rot? Of course not. It has been known for some spirits to become aware on their own. The right face, the right moment, anything can trigger it. And if that happens to Fielding, no. Our duty is to save him, and save him we shall. How? The usual rules have been chucked out the window. We make a move and he gets hammered, and we're not gonna let that happen, not again. It is a dilemma for certain. You've been around the block a few times, so to speak. Nothing like this has ever happened to you before? The destruction of the very essence of life? No. Such a thing is difficult to contemplate, and to witness it, even more so. We need to think about this, plan our next move. Of course. In fact, I might have an idea along those lines. I must confer with my host. Please excuse me. Okay, let's go see Michael. He's okay? Peter's really okay? He is still deceased. But in all other respects, yes. He is as well as can be. This changes everything. You have no idea. You two, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I never even considered that Peter's soul could be saved. And maybe Heather, too. Yes, Heather. If she wasn't taken, then her soul must still be lost. And this is a good thing? Of course. If a soul is merely lost, it still can be saved. And maybe... So can mine. So, what's your plan? We are approaching this from ignorance, and possibly from fear. Before I was trapped in the void, I was a spirit guide for a very long time. I can learn much from a spirit by looking at it, and talking to it. If Fielding's soul still exists, then it must be brought here. And Heather. Heather's soul must still be out there. And her as well, of course. Peter Fielding's spook is at the gym. It's not too far away. You can talk to him there. Are you kidding? I step out of this circle, who knows what could happen? If I die, there's a good chance I'll be an aware spirit, just like Leah and George, and then... Be at peace, my host. I would not ask you to do such a thing. Well, thank heaven for that. Besides, it is unnecessary. As you say, only spiritually aware souls are attacked. Since this Fielding is not spiritually aware, Meeting him in his current state would be fruitless. We need to awaken him before I can determine anything about him. Um, won't awakening these ghosts destroy him? Aren't we trying to avoid that? Don't be absurd. We'll put them behind this circle. They will be safe there. And how are we supposed to do that? Spooks like me can't enter the thing. This might surprise you, Malone, but I did think of that. Come here. Take this. What's this thing? Call it a totem. It was made with some of my essence. The circle was created in much the same manner, so it will make a perfect focus. When you awaken a spirit, use the totem to send them directly here. They will remain safely behind the circle until we can determine the next course of action. So I'll be trapped in this circle with Peter and Heather's ghosts? I am afraid so, my host. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. And I guess it will be nice to see them again. Yes. So it's a fetch quest. A Ghost fetch quests. Is there anything else you can tell me about Peter? Anything that can help us? No. Of all the people in our group, Peter was the one I spoke to the least. I think George once belonged to his gym, even took personal training sessions for a while. 
But George wasn't really the personal fitness type. I need to know everything you can tell me about Heather. Well, there was one thing. It was a confession of sorts, you see, and she trusted me. What was it? You don't understand. It was a confession. It might have been a long time ago, but it was still a sacred trust. I can't betray that trust. It goes against everything I believe in. Don't you think that under the circumstances, she would understand? I'm not sure God would. Does it really matter? What's the worst that could happen? You lose your soul. My God, when you put it like <laughs> that. Heather was a prostitute. She wanted to confess, but didn't feel right entering a church. She might have been Jewish, judging by her name, but I think she just wanted to speak to someone who understood. Understood? Someone who had been to Grace Group meetings. Someone who had had a life-changing revelation, like I did. I don't know what her revelation was, but she wanted to purge herself of her old life. So she asked if I could come to her apartment and listen to her. So I did. Do you remember where she lived? I was a priest entering the house of a prostitute. It's not something mm -hmm. you forget. She lived by Tompkins Square Park. Here's the address. Okay. Is there anything else? No, I think, but... Is there anything else? No. There are tons of case... Anything else you... No, I just... I just... Anything else? No, I just... I just want this to be over. One way or the other. Did you ever watch Tanya Corsi's show? No. Sorry. So the man who ran the Grace Group meetings was named Benjiro? Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. Is there anything you can tell me about Peter? Anything that can help us? No. Of all the people... I think George once belonged to his gym. Even took personal training sessions oh. for a while. But George wasn't really the personal fitness type. Maybe we can find his pass. His his key card or something. Is there anything else you can tell us about Heather? I just know she was a prostitute when she went to Grace Group meetings. I don't know what's happened to her since. Okay. I guess we should get going. Then I do believe our talk is concluded. I will return outside. Um... Hey, Madeline? Yes, my host. It's all right. All right? Yeah, stay inside. It's cold out there. I don't feel the cold, my host. I know. I know. Just stay, please, and thanks. It is my pleasure, my host. Oh, they're getting along. Let's see if we can talk to Madeline. Madeline? Yes, Blackwell. I've always wondered... Just who are you? Pardon? Where'd you come from? Who you were before all this? Tell me one thing. Have you ever asked your spirit guide the same question? Yeah. Has he ever given you a satisfactory answer? Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Auntie Lauren. She's talked about her before. Joey told me about how you helped him out of the void. We helped each other. Well, even still, if you weren't there, well, I don't know what would have happened. The hole in the universe caused by the severed link would have consumed you. Your mind would have collapsed under the pressure, leaving you a raving madwoman. <laughs> right. Um, well, thanks. My pleasure. <laughs> you once told me that you knew my Auntie Lauren. After a fashion. While in the void, I could reach out to the mortal world in dreams. The minds of other bestowers were the most... receptive. Huh? If that's true, how come she never mentioned it? Sadly, the memories of our meetings faded as she woke. What did you talk about? You and Auntie, I mean. You have to understand, she was dreaming while we conversed. Her mind wasn't entirely lucid. So you can't tell me anything? Nothing that would make any cognitive sense. Aww. Do you know what happened to them? To Auntie? To my grandmother? They both went insane. They spent years sedated in a hospital. Do you know why? I do not. I felt their minds when they went, but that is all I know. I see. Do you think the same thing will happen to me? What happened to my aunt and grandmother, I mean? I am sorry, I do not know. But I do believe your chances of safety are high. You really think so? Why? I told you. While I was in the void, I could sense their minds. I could sense yours as well. You are stronger than they were. I'm... stronger? Not physically, or even mentally. 
But emotionally, yes. Your grandmother fled the duty. Your aunt performed it with only the greatest reluctance. But you? You have embraced it. Thrived in it. Well, it's what I do. Hmm. Do you think Heather's soul is still out there? Like Peter's? The fact that Peter is an unaware spirit was a stroke of luck. Perhaps we will be lucky again. Do you really think Peter Fielding is in danger? I can assume nothing less. Remember the totem I gave you. Use it as soon as he becomes aware. Okay. Uh, I'll ask about Benjiro and then... Michael said that a man named Benjiro ran the Grace Group meetings. My host has said as much to me, yes. Sadly, he does not remember much about him. So she hasn't heard about him, and... I guess we should get going. Of course. Though, I do wonder, can we talk to Madeline separately as Joey now? Hey, Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Malone. Oh, we do. So, you and Michael seem to be getting along better? Indeed. He has proven to be quite eager to pursue the duty. That is, assuming he survives this ordeal. We're working on it, Maddie. We're working on it. So, what's your plan for after this is all done? Convince my host to leave the city, I suppose. There is no need for two bestowers here. Or perhaps your host can be persuaded to relocate. What do you think, Red? You want to leave New York? Maybe go to Europe? My apartment is rent control, Joey. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> do you really think we can stop whatever this is? I do hope so. For my host's sake, at the very least. So we never really talked about the Countess. I am aware. I have purposely avoided the subject. Why's that? She banished me alone. Left me alone in an infinite void of nothing. I may have forgiven her. I may even understand her motives. But I cannot bear to think of her. Not yet. Please don't ask about her again. Right. We're gonna take off. Plan our next move. Of course. We will be here. Okay. So... We got a long list of things to do. Uh... Oh! Totem! Madeline said she used a bit of her essence to activate that circle, and that this totem would zap spooks into it. It's a ring! Sweet! So she's kind of used one of her rings like Joey uses the tie. Got a sec? You Any rang? dialogue? I always used no. to wonder what it would uh, I always never thought. Okay. Uh, let's head out of here. We got a bunch of places we can check out. So now we have Heather, the newsroom, uh, George's apartment again, because he might have a key card or something. Uh, let's try Heather first. Um. <laughs> Question, that would, Joey. That looks yeah. like a ghost. Two days ago, I went to a drug den. Today, I'm visiting a prostitute. And you say we never go anywhere <laughs> interesting. Oh. Uh, Any thoughts about? Don't know. We haven't really looked at. Hey, Red. You got a second? What is it, Joey? I guess you can't get over that fence, huh? In this weather. No, this one is all yours. Okay. Nope. Can't see much, just a hole. It just looks like a hallway leading down to a set of stairs. The window doesn't open from the outside. Pretty solid. No way I'm getting through. All right, so, Joey, let's go. <laughs> hey, how'd you get in? Ah, hello, miss. Answer my question. How'd you get in? Oh, the gate was open. Is that all right? Sure, I guess. Just be sure to close it when you leave. I don't want to get in trouble. Dark and dusty. Can't tell what's in there. Must lead inside. 
Frozen solid. Nobody's gonna have a picnic on that anytime soon. Nice looking girl. I suppose that's an asset in her line of hmm. work. Can't comment on Rosa from here. Okay, let's talk. Excuse me, miss? Oh, hi. What's up? Is your name Heather Goffstein? Oh, I see. You came from Ray. Ray? Of course. You did come from Ray, right? No, sorry. I don't know who Ray is. Oh, uh, well, then I'm sorry. If you want a date, you'll need Ray's permission. A date? Isn't that why you're here? No, not at all. I just want to talk. Really? Really. Well, I suppose that's all right, but we should stay out here. If we don't go in the bedroom, then it's not a date. <laughs> okay. Good. Good to know. You sure you should be out here? Why shouldn't I be? It's perfect. It's so nice to finally have a night clear enough to enjoy this place. Yeah. Clear night. Right. <laughs> you live here? I do. Why? No reason. Just making conversation. You don't seem terribly surprised that I'm here in your garden. Hmm. It is a bit strange you appeared out of nowhere. But hey, I'm used to men appearing on my doorstep. And for some reason, you seem safe. Safe? Yeah. Just a vibe. Huh. Thanks, I guess. See, it's that thing again. It's that thing with the whole spirit guide and ghosts finding them safe. It's probably how... It, it's probably like a built-in asset or something. Um, Built-in power, I mean. So, tell me a bit about yourself, Heather. Can we not, please? Let's just enjoy the evening, okay? It's nice out here. Sure. No problem. Okay. Can you tell me about the Grace Group, Heather? Grace Group? Yeah. You were a member, right? Sorry. I don't know what that is. Come on. Think. You met in the basement of Grace Church. What, like AA? I'm not an alcoholic, thank you. You ever go to the Carth House? Dumpy place in Chelsea. I don't think so. Sorry. Tell me about Father Michael Cooper. Father Michael? Is he a priest or something? Yeah, or something. He was part of the Grace Group. I don't know him. Sorry. Are you sure? He seems to know you. You don't meet many priests in my line of work. Or at least, if you do, they don't usually tell you. <clears throat> do you know a Tanya Corsi? I don't think so. Sorry. Do you know a guy named Benjiro? I can't really say one way or the other. Sorry. I could get into trouble. Do you know a guy named Peter Fielding? Runs a gym in Murray Hill. I can't really s I could get into oh, trouble. They're dudes, so they might be clients. Okay. So, tell me about this Ray character. I really shouldn't. Ray is really exclusive with the clients we're given. I shouldn't have told you the name. Hmm. Well, Heather. I have to get going. Sure. I'd leave the gate open, but for some reason, I don't think that will be a problem for you. Okay. So, uh, let's see our notes here that we got. Um. Heather Goffstein. She worked for Ray, and now she's dead. Okay. Uh, so I guess report back to Michael. Oh, wait. I forgot something. I know we're gonna come back anyway, but... Mr. Plow! Mr. Plow! I really need to look up the real song. Come on, quit it. We got a job to do. Whatever. <laughs> okay, now we can go. Um... Actually, let's get some other things then. So, George, go directly to his apartment. Uh, let's see. Is that a genuine me? No, it looks a pedal operated garbage can. It's empty, thank God. Me cook? 
I'd probably just start a fire. Seriously, the list of things me and Rosa have in common are kind of getting spooky. All I'm missing is the red hair. Okay, so there's nothing about that. Uh, okay, so I was wrong about the gym pass. Okay. Oh, maybe... Um, lobby? Ask him about the gym? Hi. Yes, miss? Did George know any- I don't know. <laughs> yeah, George isn't on our list anymore. Okay. You are a useless man guarding door. Let's go to the newsroom. It's pretty empty here tonight. I guess the weather even affects the media. Hey, okay, there's a dude there. It's pretty. Looks like he's got a bunch of news wire reports open. Oh, and Minesweeper. <laughs> oh, I haven't played Minesweeper in ages. The local news is airing. They're talking about the weather again. All right, let's talk to the dude. Excuse me. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Do you work here? Certainly do. Jim Peebles, senior producer. How can I help you? Jim, huh? So what do you do here? I'm the head producer for The Good Morning Show with Kathy Carton. Isn't that Tanya Corsi's old show? Yes, it is. It's pretty empty here tonight. Well, look outside. The weather's horrible and almost everybody commutes to work. Nobody can get in, so we're running on a skeleton crew. Did you work here when Tanya was alive? Yes. Why do you ask? I'm looking into her death. Wasn't it an accident? That's why I'm looking into it, just to be sure. Huh. Well, all right. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Mr. Peebles. I might be back later. Sure thing. There we are. For a minute there, I thought we couldn't get to our notes. They both worked for the Good Morning Show. Do we have... Don't we have... Okay, we don't have anything about the note here. Okay. So I guess we can talk to him about... Talk to Tanya about Jim. Um, I think... Before we go and pop and see Michael again, I think we can go to the police station to figure out who Ray is. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about someone named Ray? I don't know who he is, but I think he's involved with prostitution. Prostitution? Is this related to Leah's case? I don't know. It could be. This just gets better <laughs> and better. Anyway, Ray, let's take a look. Okay, the name Ray definitely comes up in the Vice Department database. There was a raid on a bar called Vantini a few years ago, and someone named Ray was taken in for questioning. No charges were made. Just Ray? No last name? No. Whoever Ray is, that's his full legal name. Anyway, here's the address of the bar if you need it. Thanks. Sure. Sweet. Is there anything in the system about a Jim Peebles? Let's see. Nope. Whoever he is, he's clean. Okay, so Heather Goff's team, we've already asked about... Do you have any rec- Let me check. I I think we already checked about. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Do you know anything about Tanya Corsi's death? Tanya Corsi? What are you doing getting involved with her? It's... Complicated. Yeah, I get it. Dirk and warned me you might get weird. <laughs> anyway, there's not much to tell. She slipped in her shower and hit her head Oof. on the tub. She fell unconscious and she drowned. The coroner did an autopsy on her and found traces of whiskey and Valium in her system. Not a good combination. She killed herself? If you believe the tabloids, then yeah. But the coroner says no. There wasn't much in her system to actually kill her, but it was enough to make her a bit clumsy. So it was just an accident. So it would seem. Oh. Uh, anything we can probably ask? We already asked about everybody else. Okay. 
So, well, I better. Sure. Let's head back to Michael and report in. Ah. Too bad we can't just call him. Okay. And we also have race to check out now. Like I said, the reason I'm. I keep coming back is because I know that there's more dialogue. Ha! You're kidding me! I am not. You will find out for yourself one day. Hey, good to see you guys again. Madeline here was just telling me the funniest story. My host, please. Right, right, sorry. Like this. <laughs> so, let's tell him. Father Michael? Yeah. Oh, we can ask him more. Okay, so we can ask him more stuff. Let's tell him about Heather. Is there anything else? I just know. I what? Is there anything? I just know she was a pro. You knew George Austin, right? Yeah, years ago. We went to the Grace Group meetings together. He was, God, you should have seen him. A total mess. He looked like a street bum. I don't think he'd showered in weeks. But that was George. He only put effort into the things he cared about. The Grace Group helped him find what that was. I heard he became an art dealer. Yeah, none of us could believe it. George, least of all. He always used to say that he would never have discovered his calling on his own, and he would have wasted his entire life not knowing. <sighs> I used to feel the same way. Leah was part of the Grace Group, right? It was over 20 years ago, but yes. She was a secretary at the time, I think. She was childhood friends with George Austin, and she brought him to the meetings, hoping to help him out. Oh. Turns out it helped both of them. She quit her job and joined the police force. She said the Grace Group helped her find her way. I suppose until now, it did. Mm. Did you know Leah's daughter, Kendra? My god, I heard what happened. Madeline told me that her soul passed on peacefully? That she's where she is supposed to be? Yes, she's fine. I see. You have my oh. thanks for that. Are you familiar with Emil Haskins, Leah's ex-husband? Sadly, no. Leah and I lost touch years ago. I didn't know she had even married in the first place until recently. But I feel for him. Do you know, there's no word for a parent who loses a child. The prospect is so unthinkable, we can't even name it. That's true. I've, I've never heard, like, any kind of, like, criminology term or something or or meta medical thing i don't know some kind of name i've never heard of a name involving that uh do you know anyone named jim peebles no sorry is there anything else you can tell us i just oh, hmm. i guess we should get going Godspeed. It's good to see them getting together, but I want to talk to Madeline. <laughs> Madeline? Yes, Blackwell. We met Heather. She seems kind of, well, kind of happy. Happy. She doesn't seem to be lost or looking for anything. She's just there. Do you think all lost spirits are unhappy? If you are satisfied with your life and it gives you pleasure, would you want to leave it? Tell an unhappy spirit that it can move to a better place, and they will jump at the opportunity. It is the satisfied and comfortable spirits that are the most difficult to convince. It almost doesn't seem fair. Hmm. Okay, so we were able to tell Madeline. I guess that's it. I don't think that. Do you know when. Apologies. Yeah, I do I not. You say that. Do you know anyone. Apologies. Yeah. I guess we should- Of course. It's really good to see these two getting along now. Hey, Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Malone. Oh, she really hates that nickname. Peter seems so normal. Well, normal for a spook. You really think he's in danger? I can assume nothing less. Remember the totem I gave yeah. you. So if Heather isn't looking for something, how do we convince her she's dead? I have done this duty for centuries, and I have learned one lesson above all others. Every lost soul is different, and presents a new set of problems to solve. No <laughs> kidding. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. 
So, okay, we've basically right. reported We're in. We're gonna take off, plan our next move. Of course, we will be here. Okay. We still got some time left, so... Okay. Fields gem. Fantini. Can't see much, but it looks oh, inviting. I'm still on Joey. Can't see much. Oh, this stupid thing. A locked gate. A problem for some. I, if I remember correctly, I didn't notice this thing at all for the longest time. Let's head in. Will you look at this, Denise? Someone brave enough to join us in this weather. Well, brave or stupid, anyway. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so before we start talking, I gotta... Oh, I've... I've been waiting for this moment. Whoever this was, he signed it, Thanks for the tie, with love, A.G. It's a painting of a woman dancing. It's dedicated to someone named Mistress B. Looks like some kind of promotional poster for a burlesque act. So, I like to nickname this room the uh, Dedication Room. It's a painting of a woman dancing. It's dedicated to someone named Mistress B. So that is a... So this is a reference to Rebe Rebecca Whittaker. Because I believe that's one of her burlesque names. And then we have this photo right here. Some hat <laughs> actor. Nice tie, though. Um... You may recognize it from previous games because that is Abe Goldfarb, the actor, the, the voice actor for Joey. Some hack actor. Nice tie, though. And uh, there's a little uh, interesting Easter egg here, which I will demonstrate. Use the tie and... What the? Red, do you see that? Whoa! Huh? Where the <laughs> hell am I? Whatever this place is, it's not kosher. <laughs> I think we're in space. Are, are we in space? Because this really looks oh like space. Gosh. Does that mean you guys will implode? Because that would be awesome. Uh, I mean tragic. Definitely oh. tragic. So. Trust me, we're not in space. You lot are missing the bigger picture. The question isn't where we are, but why are we here? That's a question that's been asked since the beginning of time. That's not the point, mate. Think about it. I'm thinking that I wish I still had my ship. What about you, little guy? Can't you fly out there and bring back help? I don't fly. I hover. I can totally fix that! I'm pretty good with robots. You want a jetpack? I gave Hero a jetpack once. He's due to re-enter orbit any week now. Um, no. Nobody messes around inside me except the boss, or shiny gynoids. Bloody hell, stop and think for a blasted minute. Why are we here? What led us here? Who can say? What led you here? Everything's connected. All things have a pattern that can be followed. So, what's our pattern? You lost me, pal. Sorry. I'm enjoying this way too much. Oh, wait, I think I get it. You're saying that there's some circuit that's connecting us all. Something like that, sure. That's all great, but that still doesn't tell us what this place is. Whatever this place is, okay, it's not Okay, it's starting kosher. to repeat. Is that accent supposed to be real? I think we're so... in space. Are, are we in space? Because this really looks so, like space. So, if you haven't... Notice Does that mean you guys will implode from because that all would be of awesome? 
the uh, voices. Uh, I mean, tragic. These Definitely are all tragic. characters from Wajedi Games Trust me, that we're not are in played space. by Abe Goldfarb. You lot are missing the bigger picture. He's done a lot of games. The question isn't where we are, <laughs> but why are we here? That's a question that's been asked since the beginning of time. Listen to him. Sounds like he's gargling gravel. <laughs> that's not the point, mate. Think about oh, it. Oh, it's so much fun listening to I'm Abe make fun of himself. I still He's trying to sound tough, but I don't buy it. What about you, little guy? Can't you fly no out there what that and bring back is, help? I have no idea what that thing is, but God, what an annoying voice. <laughs> I don't fly. I hover. Listen to that guy. Sounds like he swallowed <laughs> helium. I can totally fix that. I'm pretty good with My robots. Goodness. You want to check Can we talk back? to some of them? Hey, guy. A little help here? Nothing's resonating. I gave Hero a jetpack once. He's due to re-enter orbit any week now. I didn't. Um. I no. Nobody I didn't get the joke me the first time. The or shiny gynoids. Bloody hell! Stop and think for a blasted minute. I'll let you guys find out why that why joke is. Here? What led what, here? what that reference was? Who can say? Listen to what him. You here? Sounds... Excuse me, fella. I was wondering if you could help me out. He can't hear me. It's like talking to a stone. Everything's connected. All things have a pattern that can be followed. Hey, so, could you help me out here? What's pattern? I don't think he can hear. You lost me, pal. Sorry. Hey, could you help me out here? Don't think he can hear me. Just as well, the guy looks spaced out. No, wait. I think I get it. You're saying that there's some circuit that's connecting us all. Uh, I don't even know what something like that. Uh, sure. I don't even know what that is, let alone know what to say. That's all great, but that still doesn't tell us what this place is. Whatever this place is, it's not kosher. Um, hello? I don't think he can hear me. Probably for the best. Why would I want to talk to someone who wears a tie like that? I think we're in space. Are, are we in uh, space? Because this really looks oh like boy. space. Does that mean you guys will implode? Because that would be so awesome. So if you guys want to know these characters, uh, I mean tragic, definitely tragic. I'm I'm gonna leave it up to Trust you me, guys to find out you lot who these are characters the are picture. and what games they come from. The question isn't where we are, but why are we here? I can say that I have not played all that's of them, a question that's been asked but I'm pretty sure I own time. all of them, so they're going that's to be in future made. let's plays. Think about it. I'm thinking that I wish I still had my ship. What do we got? Religious what about guy. You, guy. Can't you fly English out there guy, and bring back help? Tough looking guy. Question mark. I don't fly. I hover. Friendly guy. I can totally fix that. I'm I have pretty no good idea what that's. You want a oh, jetpack? This is amazing. Okay. I gave Hero a jetpack once. He's due to re enter orbit anyway. Okay. Now. I'll head out now. <laughs> that was amazing. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know who that woman is, but it's dedicated to someone named Mistress B. It's a bunch of hearts. Can't really say anything else about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we've hit an hour. I'm gonna leave that here now. <laughs> yeah, I would say... <coughs> if you guys want to know who all those characters are, and the, uh... Any little references there, uh, I would say check out the library for Wajidai Games because 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 they make awesome games. Like, what more can I say in that? But you can also do like an easter egg hunt trying to find these characters then. <laughs> uh, so uh, Joey, pace forward. Please, pace forward. Thank you. So, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Remember to like, share, subscribe, donate, all that jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <sighs> Nothing's resonating. <laughs>